I wore white to my best friend's wedding. <gasps> Gas. Asshole. Yeah. All right, how are y'all going, guys? <laughs> the, there's the title. Are you and then the first? <laughs> there's the stats. Oh, is your best friend your husband? Whoa. Is Ooh. this like oh. the wife or the the, Ooh. the mother was the doctor type riddle? Yeah, yeah the <laughs> riddle. <laughs> I can't operate on this person. It's my son. <laughs> what? How's that possible? I saw somebody make a joke about that riddle. and They said like 50 years ago, that, that riddle would have been impossible to solve. No, no <laughs> wives could be doctors. And you can't even so say like sad. gay dad because yeah, there weren't legal. Yeah, legally there were no <laughs> gay dads, I guess. I don't know. So they're just like, Jesus. wow, 50 years ago, that riddle really would have stumped some people. <laughs> and now it's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, it's either a gay dad or the mother. It's such yeah. an easy riddle. Super easy. <laughs> Unless you're, I guess, a, a bigot. Well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into it. I keep listening to all of these episodes talking about people who wear white to other people's weddings. So I felt like I should share, I should share my story. Mm. A few years ago, my amazing best friend, Kay, got married to her lovely husband, P, and I was the maid of honor. Prior to the wedding, K and P discussed dress colors and decided that they did not want white. While shopping, K fell in love with a gorgeous dark green dress, which made her look like a princess. She bought it and was happy. But when K told her, and especially P's family, about the dress, they got Really angry. <laughs> they were peed off. Why? <laughs> P is very low contact with his family since most of them are just horrible people who don't care about each other anyways. However, why the fuck are they bitching about yeah, it? Why the fuck do they even <laughs> like, care? Because it's care? tradition. Yeah. <laughs> just take the free meal and dance and then leave. Yeah. Seriously. However, what they did care about a great deal was. K's dress color. Initially, K and P didn't want to invite them and wanted to be done with it, but P's dying grandmother would be very sad if their family wasn't invited. So all of the weird aunts, the weird uncles, weird cousins, and whatever had to be there were invited. His grandma was the only one in the family that P was close to, so he didn't want to deny her that wish. P.S. Grandma ended up passing a few days before the wedding, but Ooh. uninviting everyone at that point would have been very rude. She. She. <laughs> the dress fight continued and ended up with P's most unhinged uncle yelling at Kay, saying, it's not a wedding if nobody is wearing white. And alas, a plan was fetched. Kay and I went shopping and found a gorgeous white cocktail dress for me. It looked vaguely like a wedding dress, but far less formal. On the day of the wedding, everyone behaved, and P's family was visibly irritated by me wearing a white dress, but good. they remained quiet. At the reception, they did take their time to try and give Kay a stern talking to about her green dress, but she just told them not to worry because she made sure somebody was wearing white. So it definitely was a wedding by their definition after all. Hell yeah. Okay. There is no, a... Not, not the asshole. <laughs> yeah, not the asshole. The statistics stand. <laughs> not as wholesome as I predicted, but uh, it's still this is still a good revenge. I like it. This is one of the few cases where wearing white to a wedding is okay. If the bride specifically asks you yeah. to. <laughs> if you go dress shopping with the bride. Yeah. Then I guess it's pretty cool. And the groom is like, hell yeah, do whatever. <laughs> Dude, P's family is wild, bro. The way I would backhand every single one of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like the uncle screaming at her. It's not a wedding if someone's not wearing white. Like, who told you that? Your ex-wife? Like, get yeah. up. Ooh. Get over yourself. <laughs> I, the way I just would actually uninvite everybody. And then same. I would have. All that food is fucking, you know, leftovers Freezer. or I mean, yeah, freezing all of it or sending out last minute invites to the people that didn't make the cut. 
I would have done something petty and grant Mima's last wish, but technically I'd invite them, but it'd only be a Zoom invite. Ah, oh. there you go. But they do already, I mean, a few days, they might already have the... So the even venue. if you uninvite them, they True. have the invitation and all that. They're so probably They would crash up. it. They would crash yeah. it knowing these people. They can all suck my pee for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> Get their pee.